Hey y'all, it is finally, I've got time to move these pigs. Hang on, let me adjust my camera a little bit. There we go. Now, uh, we're going to move these pigs today. We've been needing to do it for a while. We just have not had time to get it done. Today is the day. We got back from church. Jenna and I had to run to Walmart. Then we came back. And now, then we ate spaghetti. And now we're going to move these pigs. So I've got in this box something that I requested from Gallagher. It looks like it's too good to be true. And uh, I, 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 let me clarify that. Um, I know that this fence will work for my cows. It's the Gallagher Smart Fence System. I know with my cows it would work, but my cows are really calm i don't they're not real pushy or anything like that the only reason they got out last week is because a deer had torn the fence down but um i really wanted to try this fence and give it a review with something that's not so easy to keep in and uh you know what i have that's not easy to keep in are pigs so i'm going to review it with my pigs so if it doesn't work, I'm not going to be surprised. I mean, really, I'll be very surprised if it does work, but I just want to try it. So I'm not going to write it off if it doesn't work for my pigs, but if it works for my pigs, man alive, what a game changer this is going to be. It's going to be so much easier to uh, move our pigs around where we need to and where we want to. And uh, the pigs will be much happier because they can get moved more often and, um, but like I said, if, if it works, man, it's crazy. But if it doesn't, I'm not surprised. I'll certainly use it for my cows. And it will probably work for my bigger goats, my Nubians. But I don't know about the little Nigerian dwarfs. They're a lot more pushy and, and uh, into everything, aren't they, Jack? Yeah, they They're are. a lot more naughty. But anyway, Jack, will you hold this camera? And I'll get this thing out of the box and show y'all. If you haven't seen it, it's a really cool, ingenious system. Kind of do the unboxing here and see. There's a handle in here. I guess that goes on it for the crank, doesn't it? Let's see here. Drop the piece of it. Drop the clutch pin. Okay. Simple connection though. So I'm assuming this goes on here like that. You can tell I'm a direction reader. Yep, that's how it goes. And then this goes through here. It's just for packing. Look at that. Bam, there it is. Set up. I probably should look at these instructions because I really have not looked at any of it. So let me check these out. I know there are 10 posts and uh, 328 feet of wire. It says right here, 328 feet in five minutes. It shows the animals that it, work with, it works with, so I'm gonna be unfair, because it shows horses, cattle, goats, and sheep. No pigs. So this is not gonna be a very fair uh, test for it, but it's what I would like to use it for. So let me briefly English instructions, okay. Train your animals, installing. Loosen lock nut. Hmm. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. On undulating land, additional intermediate posts may be required. That's gonna be on us. We are on undulating land. I don't know if I've ever heard that word, but I know what it means just by the picture and needing more posts. So we're gonna need extra posts because our land is undulating and we're gonna need more posts because we're doing pigs. And uh, I think we have some posts down here in the, uh, in the pig thing where we're gonna put them. So you have to like take a nut loose, what? Oh, 
there's an adjustment for the bottom wire. Hmm. All right, let me look at this thing. Ah, I see. So you can move the wire right here, the bottom one, by loosening this nut right here and putting it to the bottom post, the bottom hole here. So it has an additional lug, they call it. I'm not sure what these are for, are you, Jack? Yeah, I don't know, unless it's just to keep your post from leaning side to side. It looks like it's got little pegs on it, like tent stakes. I bet that's what it's for, Jack. I think you're right. What is that? It's either a cow or a deer walking in the woods, I think. There shouldn't be cows in there. Mm-mm. Number 30 up there? With the rest of the cows? I'm not sure. Something we haven't told y'all is we had a surprise calf two days ago. What in the world? I had no idea that that cow was bred back. Huh. Wow. I noticed yesterday her udder was really big. Yeah, I saw that too. That's crazy. <laughs> That's a real go-getter, isn't it? Yeah, he is. Right over the brush like nothing. Wild like his mommy. Mm-hmm. Huh. All right. That's crazy. Had never crossed my mind this cow could have been bred. I just... Maybe I was a bad farmer, but I just never checked my dates. So I, she calved last June, I think. And it never occurred to me that she had been bred back because the bull didn't leave till December. Makes perfect sense now, but it just never registered in my mind but we had a surprise bull calf and because of that it means that our other there's another cow uh 14 not so heifer we call her now because she's not a heifer anymore but we have so many 14 cows we got to name them something other than 14 but she uh she could be bred she's not showing any signs yet but she could calve all the way up into october so we're gonna keep an eye on her let me walk up here and see what this is Anyway, I don't know y'all. Something was walking through the brush. Like something substantial. If my cows weren't up here, I would think that there was a cow where it's not supposed to be, but I just saw them up there. The other thing we accomplished today, we got our three steers that are going to the market, or not the market, wow. The processor next month, we got them separated into this lower pasture so that I can give them free hay. They're gonna have access to hay 24 seven and I'm also probably gonna do either alpha, alpha pellets or alpha, alpha hay some, just to try to grow them out a little bit more here at the end. We don't do the grain, so we're not doing any grain with them at all, but I can do the alfalfa alpha pellets or alpha hay, maybe a little bit of both, and certainly free hay. Free, just feed them all the hay they can eat. So anyway, let's go in here, Jack. We don't need anything else besides the charger here in a bit, right? Right. Okay. Hard to believe I've got 300 and whatever feet of fence. Was it 20 something feet? Somewhere, something like that. 327 feet or whatever it is of fence right here. I still can't hardly believe this. We're gonna see. There's what the sound is, y'all. It's 1411. We've gotta get her out of here and figure out how she even got in here. 
that's that's strange we got to walk this fence and figure out how they're getting in here bub because that's that's a that's a no-no because they don't they're not really blocked in here very well because i took the charger all right come on 1411 this is a cow that's a little scary when you get her in a uh up in a corral come on she doesn't herd very well come on Come on. Huh? Another cow. Is there? There you go, Jack. Run her on out. She's afraid of that wire. She's crouching. Yeah. She doesn't need to be in there either. No. All right. We're going to have a change of plans, y'all. We got to figure out which cows are in here and how they're in here because... We can't put pigs in here with cows because the cows will more than likely, I don't know, they might not tear the fence down since we've got this new kind of fencing system, but well, just, just ideally I'd rather not have them all mixed. All right, y'all. This is why I can't get the things on my list done because there's always something else pressing, more pressing coming up. Anyway, back to the pigs. We had to get... 1411 and old lady 14 out we found out where they got in a tree fell on the, our fence on up here i had to trek like basically coax her all the way up to the top through all the briars i tore my shirt right there just got all stuck up but no big deal and i'm in my shorts but we made it so we're going to clean up in here the old wire that we were trying to use for these pigs and uh Put in this new wire and see how it works. Then we're going to put cow fence back up top where the trees fell on it. So everybody's out of there now. Old lady 14 is walking down the hill. 1411 is in this paddock, which I don't really want her in here because this is where my three steers are. But she'll be okay in here for now. She's not going anywhere. I'll just pull her back out soon, hopefully in the next few days. <laughs> whenever the opportunity is there, whenever I catch her where I need her to be to get her out. So anyway, we're going to clean this up a little bit and then try this new smart fence too. All right, y'all. So I know it's only been a few minutes for y'all. It's been a couple of hours for us. Now I'm finally getting ready to try this fence out, I think. We had to put cows back where they were supposed to be. We did get 1411 back out of this paddock where she's not supposed to be. We... Our spring is not flowing like I thought it was, so we're not getting enough water to for it to make water for the pigs outside the spring box, which is what I was counting on. So, it means we're going to have to dip buckets of water out of the spring box to water the pigs in a trough, which is not ideal, but it'll work. But I brought the tractor down in here and dug just a little bit to see if I could hit water to no avail. So... Here we go with fence. First time to try this ever. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna put it right here, maybe. Let's see here. And then it's got this clip on it. This is pretty cool. I like that, that I can tie out there. So let me go ahead and do that. That's a clever idea. I like this idea. This keeps your post taut. Kind of like a tent stake deal. See that, Jack? Yeah, I see it. That's pretty cool. That's a handy thing for temporary fence. So I do have extra posts, y'all, for this fence to, to, in, to install because I know I'm going to need them. But this is pretty cool so far.
All right, I've got my two pig herders, Lydia and Emma. Emma is not thrilled to be down here wrestling pigs with me. She said she wanted to go sit in the truck. I said, well, what if one of the pigs doesn't cooperate and we have to wrestle it to the ground? I told her I might need her to put the schnoz lock on it. and She wasn't going to do that, she said, but she's out here to help nonetheless. So here's my little Gallagher Smart Fence 2, the whole rest of it. I haven't used that much, but I used all the posts, I think. So, and then I added two posts because the ground is, I don't remember the word. What was the word? Undulating. That was the word. My ground is very undulating around here. So I uh, added a few extra posts, but this was really simple to put up. Like, I'm really impressed with Gallagher's products. They really are uh, easy to use. They're really working on trying to make farming and pasture rotation and stuff like that much simpler. And that's that's what we need because time is money. And uh, just being able to, to set up fence in just a few minutes versus taking an hour or two to set up fence. This took hours, not the actual setting up because I had to stop in the before I ever hardly got started and chase cows. And then there's a bunch of other stuff happening, but had nothing to do with the fence. So anyway... Jack and Jeremiah are going to get the pigs, and when they, they hopefully will be able to lure them down here with the four-wheeler and uh, some feed. We're, we're treating them with some sunflower seeds right now. They really like sunflower seeds, so we're going to give them a little bit of those and see if we can coax them down here. So anyway, I'll show you when they get to running down here. All right, I hear the four-wheeler, and I hear pigs, y'all. It should be coming right over here from where my truck is any moment. Lydia's terrified. <laughs> Let me get this shovel in case I have to convince one of them to go in there. Not to hit it, but just to steer it. Pigs can be pig-headed. Maybe, maybe they're not coming. The poor will are cut off again. Maybe he's coasting. Hmm. Well, we're going to try this again. All right, we think this is it this time. Lydia, you better get behind Emma or behind me. We're going to let Jack pull by me. seeds in there. I don't know. The top of it Just dump them about half of the bag, buddy. Oh, there they all are. There's one of the piglets. Oh, yep. Grab him. Quick, Jeremiah. You get him. Pick it on there, Jack Jack. Let's get him, Mommy. Intercept him. Up in the woods there? Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Well, how many piglets got out, Jack? Uh, probably about half of them. Half of them? Did you get them back? Yeah, I, we caught them, all of them but that one. Okay. Well, we've got one piglet to catch, but everybody else is in. As y'all can see, these piggies are happily chowing down on uh, sunflower seeds. My mamas are going to be so happy to not have to feed those babies anymore. They were getting so thin from just being nursed and nursed and nursed. So uh, I think they're going to be pretty happy in here. I'll let y'all know. I'll give y'all an update on this fence and how the pigs are staying in in a few days after baby. I figure out. Hang on, baby. I'm videoing. Okay. Once I figure out how, how it's going and if they're staying in good, I'll give y'all an update. And uh, I really think it's going to go good. <laughs> but anyway. So I guess that wraps up this video. I, I really am impressed with how easy the Smart Fence 2 goes up. Um, our ground is super hard. It's super dry right now. And it, it worked 
uh, it was fast. It was easy. And I'm impressed by how they have these little uh, tent stake things on it that you can put in on uh, on some of the posts to tighten, like brace them up. It's really smart. And uh, like I said, time will tell. I, I really think that it's going to work. I've got my Gallagher, my Gallagher charger. I don't even remember what model that is. It's a good one, though. The S200? S200, no, is that what it is? That might be the other one. Yeah, no, that one's the S200. Yeah, it's the S200. That thing is awesome. It is a hot, hot solar charger. And uh really like it, but there you go. Some of these pigs are going to have to go in the freezer soon, which means we're going to have to start eating a lot more pork. But uh that's no big deal there. But anyway, that wraps up this video. We're going to uh, go up here and drink some water. We've still got to put <clears throat> some fence over the hole in our other fence up here. I think we're just going to do a temporary rig for right now and put, we've got a, uh, a new Gallagher solar charger. I'll show you some other time. Um, I don't have time today, but it's a, it's an S12. It's a teeny tiny little lithium. Uh, I think it's a lithium ion battery in it. And it, it is small. Like it, it fits in my hand and, uh, we're going to do a review on that as well. And we're, like I said, we're going to take just some poly wire, the Gallagher turbo wire up there, a couple of, uh, of their, uh, ring top posts and just stretch it across where the, um, the hole is. And then you all right, Hopi? Hopi's being wild and fell in the on the four wheeler, but, um, uh, put it up there to make them keep the cows where they need to be. So we will catch y'all later. If you're not, uh, already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe like this video and also hit that little notification bell that way youtube will notify you every time we upload a video and uh the other thing leave us a comment below um let us know what you think it, it, it's nice to hear from y'all it's encouraging uh jenna almost always writes back within a day of of, of to respond to comments so uh anyway just just drop us a comment and uh we appreciate that also um we're really trying to, to get our YouTube channel grown, and uh, if you all feel so led, you could share our videos on your social media platforms, I guess Facebook, and I don't know if you can do that on Instagram. Jenna does Instagram. I don't, but uh, anyway, your social media platforms, just uh, just put us out there for, for people who you think that might enjoy us, and uh, that'll get us more views, and, and it'll help us to be able to make more videos. So anyway, we will catch y'all later. <laughs>